Hey guys, out here on the water before sunrise, gonna show you three products that I've been messing with that may help you when it comes to fishing at night or just doing any outdoor activity where it's dark. The first one is this headlamp from Wukros. It is one of the newer metal bodied lights. These headlamps have become popular here in the past few years because they have a very rugged design. They're also rechargeable. That's the biggest thing. You can use a USB-C cord uh, that a lot of you use to charge cell phone with, plug it in and it's rechargeable. You don't have to pull batteries out. You don't have to buy double A's or anything like that. It has a couple of different modes in it. That's the uh, regular white beam and you can change it different intensities there. Honestly, it's a lot of light when you're just in that lowest intensity setting there couple of different beams. It also has a red mode on it. This is great. Any of you guys that are out hunting or just working on the boat, you want to protect your night vision. It's got this red beam on it, which is really cool. Uh, one tip I will give you is when you go to charge it or to store it, turn the knob here on the side that houses the battery halfway. It will disconnect the cap from the battery so that you don't actually turn it on. I can tell you that from experience because I left this thing in a backpack. I've been using it on the road traveling for a couple of months now. And one of these buttons got pushed and it was on in the backpack. The cool thing was it ran a long, long time. So just roll that knob about halfway. I also do uh, this just to uh, keep it from getting turned on in my pocket or if you're hunting or something like that, you don't accidentally bump it. So it does rotate. <clears throat> one of the cool things I like about these things is it's, got, it's actually mounted into a rubber housing, a little rubber chassis. And this will allow you to turn this thing in different directions without twisting it around on your head. So pretty cool little light. I'm going to put you a link down in the description where you can check them out. As a matter of fact, we'll leave that light on for a second while I do a couple more things here. Uh, the other one that actually will take advantage of that red light is this right here. These are some night vision binoculars. Uh, it is. It has a screen in it that you actually look at instead of looking through an optic uh, at something. You're actually looking into and seeing a picture of, uh, you know, what's out there. It comes in a mode for just seeing regularly in daylight. So you can see during the day or you can put it into an infrared mode that actually has infrared illumination with it and it will light stuff up for you using the infrared illuminator that is there on the front. So uh, I thought maybe these things would be good for navigating out on the water at night, running up and down the lake. I'll be honest with you, they're probably not well suited for that due to the field of vision. The widest field of vision is about 4X, so it's fairly wide. I wouldn't advise it for navigation, but if you're up near the bank and you want to look to see for, you know, rocks, trees, stumps, anything like that, they're good for that. Uh, there is a limited range with how far this infrared beam will illuminate something. So keep that in mind. You're not going to illuminate something a mile away with it. It is uh, not thermal. So it does not work off a heat source. It's all off of infrared illumination and complete darkness. But uh, pretty cool little gadget. They're not that expensive. I'll put you a link down uh, where you can check them out. My son uh, has taken them basically for deer season. And uh, he loves sitting in a stand before daylight with these things and uh, lighting stuff up and looking at them. Deer can see the infrared illuminator just so uh, in case you got a question there on that, any animal can see it. It's, it's a very dim red light. You'll be able to see it, but animals can see it. But it's cool to look at stuff. Uh, we had some coyotes outside the house the other day that were howling and we were able to look at them with this. So pretty cool little device. Last thing is for the fishing world and it's from PC Fun and it is their two-piece fishing rod. Now you're wondering why are you showing this at night? Well, the cool thing about this one is hopefully it's not too bright to see it. Get over here. It actually has an illuminated tip on it. I'm going to dim this light a little bit, turn it away from me maybe here and let you see that. There it is, an illuminated tip on it. That's pretty cool right there. Uh, a lot of you guys don't want to use uh, silalooms, you know, uh, chemical sticks and uh, want an illuminated tip so you can see what's going on. That right there is pretty cool. 
what happens is, and then usually, I'm not a fan of two-piece rods, where the rod comes apart right here, there is a little compartment that has a battery in it. And you unscrew this, and it's a little bitty battery. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, you can read the specs on it on their site. I don't know how long this battery goes before it dies. I have been running it and trying it and playing around with it and it's run a long, long time. Pretty cool build on these things. They kind of got the uh, Fuji style seat on them like the ugly sticks have. Uh, some of the similar guides to some of the popular stuff out there from like Catch the Fever and those rods. And very nice, good looking design here around uh, where the uh, guides are on it. Pretty good looking rod at a pretty good price. This is my whole PC Fun Reel. I've got one of their newer reels. I'll have in some videos and show you, uh, but I'll put you a link down in the description where you can check that out and uh, you can put one of these illuminated tips to use when you're out there fishing at night. If you use one, let me know how it works. Look at that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me know how it works or if you've tried one of these rods. Uh, drop some info in the comment section. Again, there's links to all this stuff that you can check out and uh, let me know how it works for you.